this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and I had two subscription book boxes come in the mail. Actually, one is a book box and one is a candle box. These are both from May. However, it is June 10th, 11th, something like that. And they just came in the mail this past weekend. So you can say that they're technically June boxes, although they are for May. So I'm gonna break this into two videos because I have a feeling it'll be pretty long otherwise. This is a Lumicrates book box. This is the Wick and Fable. I'm not sure if it's a Court of Frost and Starlight or if it's just a Sarah J Mass box or if it's just a Court of Thorns and Roses, the series in general. Hopefully I'll be posting both of these in a timely fashion. I still have so much to post from BEA and I'm a little bit behind. I would love to post them this week, but I'm not sure that I'll be posting them as fast as I would like. So I am sorry about that. All right. Here we go. Still coming down on a high from my Wiccan Fable unboxing. Because everything was so pretty. And it starts off with this lovely yellow package. This lovely yellow tissue paper, that's the word. And you take it off, and it's still packaged. Illumicrate for book lovers, and that's going to be my spoiler card. Thanks for letting Illumicrate brighten up your days. And this is my second time getting Illumicrate. The first time was for February, I think. Here we are. And the first thing we have is a book from the New York Times bestselling author of The 100. Light Years, Hidden Secrets and Forbidden Love Collide in an Elite Boarding School in Space. And Cass Morgan, I believe, is the author. There it is. Cass Morgan. And this is an Illumicrate exclusive. First book in a thrilling and romantic new sci-fi series from the best-selling author of The 100. And it is a galley. It is coming out on October 9th in the UK. I'm not sure what its US release date is. Possibly the same. The summary says, The exclusive Quattro Fleet Academy is finally admitting students from every planet in the solar system after centuries of exclusivity. Hotshot pilot Vesper dreams of becoming a captain. But when she loses her spot to a brilliant, wise, cracking boy from the wrong side of the asteroid belt, it makes her question everything she thought she knew. Cormac grew up on the toxic planet Deva and will do anything to escape his dead-end life, even if he has to steal someone's identity to do it. Aaron was considered an outsider on Icy Tire, always dreaming of something more than a life working in the mines. Now, Aaron is looking for a place to belong. He just never thought that place would be in the arms of a Tridian boy. And Aurelia is hiding a dark secret. She's infiltrated the academy to complete a mission, one that threatens the security of everyone there. But if anyone finds out who she really is... It'll be her life on the line. These cadets from across the galaxy will have to put their differences aside and become a team if they want to defend the world from a cunning enemy, and they might even fall in love in the process. And this sounds really good. I never read the 100, but I have seen a couple seasons of the TV series. So that's one of the nice things about Illumicrate. Every time they send you a box, which is bi-monthly, they send you an arc of a book that hasn't come out yet, plus a book that has come out. And this is really pretty and shiny. It's got foil. Last time they sent us that beautiful version of the Smoke Thieves with the purple stained pages as an arc, and it was amazing. All right. We have butterflies here. Is this a bookmark? It folds in half. It looks like it's a bookmark. The music is sugar and charcoal. It aches in minor like butterflies and broken wings. He plays so he feels like crying. He plays like it's his last moment on earth. A Thousand Perfect Notes, C.G. Drew's Passion, Obsession, Hope. And I love the quotes that were pulled out of it. They're beautiful. And C.G. Drew's is the paper fury. She was a blogger for a long time that I followed. And I've been so excited for her journey and to see that she is coming out with a book. And it's a book that I definitely want to pick up and read. I think I heard it might be in here. Oh, it must be in here because this is the author card already. So we just spoiled the book a little bit because it was on top. So I'm happy that it is from C.G. Drews because I've been wanting to read Kate's book. Even though I haven't seen it yet, I'm so excited. Book sample, Holly Bourne, How Do You Like Me Now? And it's a nice, thick, it has like catalog quality to it. 
Turning 30 is like playing musical chairs. The music stops and everyone just marries whoever they happen to be sitting on. And this sounds like it's definitely an adult book. It talks about being 30. It has cursing right at the beginning. Not that that's a bad thing, but it might not be something for the teens who may be looking at this or buying the subscription box because it is a teen box. This comes out June 14th in the UK. This is a UK subscription box, so. Oh, this is cute. We have, is this Rainbow Royal? Prefers fictional worlds. This has a very fangirl slash Eleanor and Park quality to it, doesn't it? It's a little pencil box. It's got like a little speaker area there almost. It comes out the other side. It's super cute. You can put all kinds of stuff in this. I really like the art. It definitely reminds me of Rainbow Rowell. Next, ooh, we have a book sleeve. And it's Black Panther, which I loved. It is one of my favorite Marvel movies. I love the world building. I love the characters. I love everything about that movie. It is your time. And let's see, I still have those books next to me. Have you watched my Wiccan Fable unboxing, which I filmed right before this because they both came at the same time? That also had a book sleeve and it would not hold a hardcover. This is Stay Sweet. And it does hold in there just barely. But the interior is really soft and delicate and I feel like if I put a hardcover in there I might actually harm the book sleeve. And I mean this is a UK book box. So a lot of books that come out in the UK come out in paperback anyway and don't come out in hardcover. So it's the perfect size for that. And I can get light years into it. So it is already winning there. Next, oh, we have a bookmark and it's shaped like a weapon. You know I love those. Only one thing is certain, there will be blood. Gray Sister by Mark Lawrence. I really want to read this series. Ooh, and it looks like a weapon on this side. There will be blood. You know I want weapons for Bookstagram, so I love that they have this and that it's usable. And I definitely have a lot of Mark Lawrence books. I don't have this one yet. I need to get it still. We've got some paper stuff. I think a few of them came out together here. A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. This comes out tomorrow, Tuesday. It will be out by the time this is posted and you're seeing it. These are the new UK covers. They redesigned the same time the US editions did. And while I love the US editions and I love how diverse they are, I don't prefer humans on the cover of my fantasy books ever because to me the models look modern even when they try not to. So I prefer not having humans on the cover of fantasy books. And so I love these. I actually imported the UK cover of A Reaper at the Gates. So I should have it by the end of the month. It should ship this week from Book Depository. But they're really pretty. And then we have a character card. Ooh, what is this from? Does it say on the back? No, but there's a girl too. I feel like that's important, the angel necklace. This eye. Yeah, I have no clue. No clue. <laughs> Obviously, it's something I don't read or something I've forgotten about. Harper Collins presents I Was Born for This by Alice Osman. Everyone needs something to believe in. And some information on the back. And then, ooh, this isn't a baggie. These are element page markers, and they're really pretty. They're stainless steel. Oh, they're inspired by the four elements. For So these are Avatar the Last Airbender, Earth Kingdom, Fire Nation, Water Tribe, and Air Nomad. I would definitely be Water Tribe. I am such a water baby. I love Katara. I mean, 
I love this series so much. So I'm really excited to have something for that, especially have it be something that I can keep like this. I forgot to unsubscribe from this box and so it renewed the middle of April I think and I just kept it because it had an avatar item and it had a Graceling item and then they took the Graceling item out. So I was really sad about that but I still really like the avatar item so it works out. A postcard for from Twinkle with Love. You see me as an artist in a way no one else has and I think it's because you have an artist soul too. And I still have to read that. I am behind... A pin from Percy Jackson. This is what they put in to replace the Graceling item. Another pin. I was born for this. A book plate. And then, of course, the book. A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews. And it is in paperback because it's UK. And it has red stained pages. I love stained pages. And it is about Beck's mother, a once famous pianist, lives out her shattered dreams through her son. Crushed by her violence and forced to play the piano until his hands bleed, Beck is broken until August comes along. August, with her bare feet and doodled hands. August, fiercely protective of those in need. Can she help Beck unlock his own music and say all the things he's never said? So here's everything that came in the May Illumicrate box. You got A Galley of Light Years by Cass Morgan, which comes out in October. A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews. This is the UK edition with red stained pages. A book sleeve featuring the Black Panther. A bookmark, a sampler, a letter from the author, a double bookmark, a pencil case, a pin, some character cards, another pin, four stainless steel bookmarks, and then some paper products from some of the publishers to promote various books. I do think that Illumicrate has a lot of paper product. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It really adds to the box itself, but when you're importing it from the UK, I don't think you get the greatest value for your money when there's not as many items just because there are so many big items. At the same time, I think the items are high quality. You get a book sleeve, you get a pencil case, you get two books. So you do get some great stuff in it. I can't complain about that. Like I said, I wasn't really going to get this box this month. Contemporary is not my thing, but I'm glad that it turned out to be that book because I did want to buy it at some point and support Kate and I am happy with this box and I'm glad that in the end I did get it because I do like everything in it. The Hidden Talents box came with a book sleeve by Rizzo Rodale, almost as cool as a shoe redesign. Camp Half-Blood pin is designed by Fable and Black. The box is Prefers Fictional Worlds box, and it's by Alice Oseman. And you can store your inner fangirl goodies or lunch in this box. So I was right about it being inspired by fangirl. Infernal Devices cards with artwork by Tara ja. So that's why I didn't recognize it. I have not read Cassandra Clare before, and I really don't plan to, so I wouldn't recognize that. The Elements page markers are by Another Studio. And then you have a bunch of extras from the various publishers. So I'd love to know if you get Illumicrate, if you love them, what you think of their boxes. I don't know if I'll get their next box or not. It depends on the theme and what is going to be inside. If they have a Graceling item, I might just do it. If it's going to be a good item, if it's not going to be something big, I don't know if I want to pay the expense for it. So we'll see. But this is everything from the May Hidden Talents Illumicrate. Let me know what your favorite items are. I mean, I am a sucker for weapons that I can use on Bookstagram, so I love that. I love the book sleeve. I love the choice of arc, the choice of book. I love the pencil case. I do really like everything in it. I love that we have Avatar, the last airbender items. I can't tell you how much I loved that show, how much deeper it got me into loving elemental magic, how much time I've spent reading stories about Katara and Zuko online because it wasn't a canon relationship and I really wanted to see their romance. Um, and that's one of the reasons I will tell you right now, that's one of the geeky reasons that I love Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi so much because it's sort of like reading a fan fiction, except it's canon. So it has all of the tropes that I love in those fanfics. 
as well as a lot of other reasons for loving it too. But the type of romance is something that I just read a lot online because of these two characters. And I love books that have that type of romance. So I definitely blame Avatar for that one. So I really liked everything this box. I am glad that I got it in the end, even though I hadn't intended to. So that is everything for me today. I will talk to you guys again really soon. Bye.